sending us a message. That would be a completely different uh, and even more badass take on uh, the book Crash that David Cronenberg <laughs> adapted. It's Crash. It's Instead Dave. of cars, it's we're, we're, we're crashing fucking we're, trains. We're fucking ghost trains. That's the only way, I mean, oh, the only way that I can feel anything anymore is to have sex with a ghost train. <laughs> What about a flying train? We 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 can go all uh, back to the future three on this one. Where we're yeah. going, we don't need rails. Yeah, no, you got little Vern pointing at his pe- <laughs> pointing at his back. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, if you aren't familiar with it, go just look up the very end scene of Back to the Future Three. Doc Brown shows up on a, on a flying train. And he says, oh, here's my wife. Here's my creepy project. And here's, here's my children, <laughs> Jules and Vern. And Vern is like... <laughs> the Antichrist. He's like a baby. <laughs> he's like a little baby with the bitter beer face. And then he's... <laughs> and then he looks right at... Uh, what's her name? It's... Mary Steenburgen. No, the... Marty's girlfriend. Elizabeth Shue. Elizabeth Shue. This little creepy kid in a newsy costume like <laughs> just makes the shit eatingest smirk and just points to his dick. <laughs> it made it into the movie. <laughs> it is incredible. He just goes, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> He has no lines. No lines. <laughs> he just makes the weirdest face <laughs> in the world and points at his penis. And, just... and they're like, print it. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's... Classic Spielberg. Oh, 